Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Taslima Maya Art. It's really, really lovely to have you here. Do check out my other videos, and if you can, like, share and subscribe to support me. This week, I have the great pleasure of kicking off the Fluid Art Express with our Valentine's collab. We have an exciting lineup of artists ahead of us, including two guest artists, namely Nathan Linzel from The Fine Art of Distraction and Angie Mason Art. So stay on the Express with us because you're in for some really spectacular Valentine's pause. Today, I'll be doing two blooms, one on this wooden 3D heart and another on a wooden plaque. My products and ratios will be in the description box and a mixing video coming out next week. So just gonna quickly go through what we've got here. I've got my spinner here, um, and it's covered with um, silicon mat, and I've got all my colors. These are some examples as well of previous, um, well, test pieces I did using similar colors that I'm going to use today for the Valentine's pour. And you can see I put in an addition of green into this one, which looks lovely. Yep, so these are some examples. Um, and I was just testing out my CA really for those. So what we've got in terms of colours, okay. So um, I'm going to be using this Valspar House Silk Trade and Water for my base colour or my pillow. And then I'm going to be, um, I've mixed up each of my colours. So we've got Hustle here. So beautiful hustle from this little piggy and that's mixed in with my Basie and my Josania varnish and then we have, I'll pop that back there, Nightfall, again this little piggy and that's here and they're very thick in consistency um, because obviously they need to be for the bloom technique. I've got Fairy Floss and that is here. And then we've got a mixture of a couple of colours here. I made a custom colour using Arteza's Raspberry Red, Grenache from TLP and Primary Magenta. And that is this one, kind of a beautiful deep shimmery wine red colour. Okay, almost a maroon. Okay, so we've got that one there. And then finally, we'll pop these over here. We've got Maraschino, my favourite red, very bright, vibrant red from TLP, and that's in here. But that's been mixed in with a opaque colour from Pebio called Cadmium Red Hue, because I'm going to put this straight under my CA, okay, to give it that contrast that it might need. So we've got two CAs mixed up. We've got this one, which is my um, Oxide Black from Amsterdam. Mix it in with Australian Floetrol. So roughly about two to one though, because my Aussie Floetrol is really thin. Um, and I've got Amsterdam Titanium White here as my second CA, and that's just mixing mix in with Aussie Floetrol again. Um, and it's about almost a one to one. It's quite thick because I was trying to get the cell lines to hold up. So that's that, and we're going to get um, painting in a second. So I'm painting over two things for the Valentine's pool. First of all, I've got this beautiful wooden 3D heart, okay? And I found this in a local craft store. I've gessoed it twice over, uh, probably should have done it three times, and then I've varnished it, okay? I've spray varnished it though. Um, so we'll be pouring over this. I sprayed it on both sides um, to try and seal it. And then I've got this wooden plaque, also spray varnished it and gessoed it. Um, and I'm going to my daughter drew over it. So I'm going to be pouring over these two today for you. Let's get started. So we've got a wooden heart here. I'm just going to pop some um, pillow down. And I'm going to make sure I have enough to cover the heart. I mean, it's actually a very strange um, shape and size. Very narrow and elongated and there's very thick sides, at least an inch on the sides. I'm going to have to make sure it's all fully covered and we have enough to drip down the sides really, so. Yep, I think that's good. I'm good to go. And the shape as well. I'm going to have to work quite fast, I think, to be able to stop it from spreading too quickly. I'm not sure this will work out. I don't know where to find out. So, let's get to it. So we're going to pop down this one. First, this little piggy right down in the middle 
and because it's a kind of a strange shape I'm going to make sure there's enough of this going up like this really in a heart shape it's got to travel quite far as you can see down the sides I think that's okay okay so we've got that one off and then we are going to use the kind of a light purple and already I can see it dripping so I'm gonna to have to move a bit faster than I am A really big bubble there as well. I think that's enough for that one. And then we'll move on to the next colour, which is this lovely kind of a bubblegum pink, but I really love it. Fairy floss from TRP. Okay, so we've got Fairy Floss on, and then the next one is this one, my custom mix. Let's pop some of this on now. I'm just going to do lines with this one, I don't want... You might not be able to see it depending on how this works out, but I'll just put lots of little lines. There we go, that's fine. And then next up is the red. Beautiful maraschino red, um, mixed up with that cadmium red hue from Pebio, and I do love this red. This is the red for Valentine's. And I'm just going to put an extra dollop in the middle. Okay, so I'm going to put two CAs on and see how they work out. Um, so we've got the white here, the Amsterdam white. I haven't got a lot of it here, but I might just quickly just get rid of the bubbles a minute. Perfect. And then just pop this on. It's going to do two lots of blowing. One here. There we go. There's that one. And then some black here. There we go, I'm better hurry up and blow this out. So I'm going to blow this out now. To save time, I forwarded the blowing out and sped it up. And this is how it's looking at the moment. We've got the white cells or the lacing on the one side, on the right side, and the black cells and lacing on the left. So I'm going to take a skewer and wreck it a little bit to make the two sides come together. So I might just do a little line across the middle. I'm not sure what you think. What do you think of that? I'm not quite the expert like Darren from Ven Venom Fluid Art is, but uh, I am giving it a go. Put it there, and maybe I will just bring a little bit up here. There we go, just to break up that red a little bit. I think that's really pretty. I don't know what you think. I'm not sure how much of this is going to keep falling off because obviously it's a shape that's um, likely to make all the paint fall off. Um, but this is my Valentine's heart for you. Okay, and we're going to go on to do the next one. So I'll be right back. So we're going to do it with a wooden heart now, okay? And um, we're going to try it with this one instead. Right, let's get that off there. Um, let's put the pillow paint down now. So I just had this fail by blowing it out, so I'm going to try it again. When in doubt, swipe it out. So I'm going to use a long palette knife and swipe the whole lot, okay? So that is the plan. Let's move these back. So I'm going to use black cell activator simply because I've run out of the other one. 
um, and I might just pop some more colours down quickly, so let's just do that. None of the cells came up very well and I'm not sure whether that was because the pillow was a little bit too thick or the blowout method that I used. It was actually quite hard to move the paint and get the cell activator to go over the paint. So with the swipe method, you can just avoid those problems and just force it to go over the paint. decided I didn't like the swipe because my cell lines were disintegrating and very weak. I used too much Josonia, so take three. I've decided now I'm going to do some blooms on top. Let's hope their time is lucky. I remember the first time I heard
So this is the final outcome of my wooden heart plaque blue. I finally got there in the end after, what, three tries? But look at that spectacular bloom right in the middle, spreading right out to the edges. And you can still see parts of the swipe as well, and parts of the smaller blooms like up there on the right corner. So I'm really loving this. I hope you are too. Um, it's perfect success. Feels like I'm falling down, falling down. Oh, why? why won't they go away? Pictures of you in my head. The way you left broke my heart. So that's it folks, thank you so much for joining me on our Valentine's Day collab with the Fluid Art Express. We are so grateful to have you on board with us and please do join the rest of the artists in the lineup, the very talented artists with really exciting pores to show you. And don't forget we have our two guest artists as well joining us, Nathan Linzel and Angie Mason as well, so more exciting things to look forward to. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like, share and subscribe or leave me a comment letting me know what you thought or any suggestions. So straight after me today on the Fluid Art Express Valentine's Collab, we have the Fine Art of Distraction with a wonderful Nathan. And then we have Darren with Venom Fluid Art showing us his wonderful work. And then we have Creations by Christy, followed by Shan B Fluid Art, and then Bubbles with Venom, and then Angie Mason Art with Hippie Dippy Painter Man leading up the caboose. So stay with us, and I will hope to see you all in the lives. My love to all. <laughs>